welcome to the Tech Tuesday Live Show. Howdy. Howdy. Uh, I am Josh, and uh, this is... I'm Mark. That's Mark. And uh, don't adjust your screens. Do you see a white haze is it a little smoky? around us? It's because it's a little smoky. It's a little smoky. It's a little miserable out here. Little, I hate it out here. Little it's horrible. smoky is like those hot dogs you get at the bar. Yeah, something like that. Um, actually, nothing like that because those are delicious and amazing, and I love them. And I hate this. So this is—it's just—it doesn't feel good to be outside right now. <laughs> I was—I was on my way here, and I saw people wearing face masks. Yeah, lots of people wearing face masks. I think we are foolish to be not wearing face masks and to be sitting inside doing a show right now. But you know what? It's just because we love you, right? That's and, right. And it's all about—it's all about you guys. It's all about the love. Uh, Wow, that was here at the Tech Tuesday. Usually, show. my bot isn't that fast about sharing the post. Hold on. Oh, maybe. I'll go fix it. Oh, Mark's fixing the Wi-Fi situation. Um, probably. So what, what's probably happening is we have a little, little Wi-Fi adapter. Just like straight up. Just, I'll show you. I'll show you. Let's do some behind the scenes magic here. So see. Uh, you see it? No. See that? Whoop. Whoop. Oh, this is so professional. But you see that there? Right there? That's our Wi-Fi. But it probably can't see through the window, so we're going to have to open the window in order to make it work. Uh, so yeah, there's, that's how we're doing stuff. <laughs> that's how we're making it happen. Um, I don't even know if we're live right now. I don't even know what's going on. Are we live right now? Can somebody please? We're gonna cut this. Pages manager. I'm gonna check if we're live. I have a suspicion we're not live. We don't have any viewers. I support. I support it. How's it going here? Uh, turn off Wi Fi. Who's watching your videos? Oh, we do have viewers. Hello, viewers. You don't know who you are. We're having some issues with our Wi-Fi, so we're fixing it. Mark is here, but he's, uh... Ah, oh, sweet. We got uh, the window open, so we should be able to get Wi-Fi now. Mark, Mark is probably on his way back down. Um, so, uh, yeah, welcome to the September 5th edition of the Tech Tuesday Live Show. Let's just restart, right? And I'll cut it for the YouTube version. So, uh, yeah, hi, I'm Josh. Uh, Mark will be here in just a second. Hello, Liz. Um... This is the Tech Tuesday Live Show. This is the September 5th edition of the Tech Tuesday Live Show. This is also the super smoky outside uh, version of uh, the episode. Well, thank you, Magdalene, for your concern. Uh, I do appreciate it. I think we'll be okay, though. Uh, we're going to make it happen. So let's just, let's just get going. Let's just make this happen so that we can get out of the smoke. So... Tech jobs, lots of tech jobs, lots of tech jobs. Hello, Mark. Welcome back. Thank you for fixing the Wi-Fi so that we can do a show. Um, well, you know we have magical windows at the code shop space. Yeah. They're uh, lead lined. Not, apparently. not not only can you not get a sunburn through them. Did you know that you can't get a sunburn through windows? Real. Yeah. I was like, not aware of that. Yeah, like if you're... Don't take our word for it, by the way. Um, totally take my word for it. It's totally true. Really? Yeah, like that's why you don't get a sunburn in your car unless you hang your like arm out the window. That's a good point. That's interesting. Meet facts. Facts. <laughs> Hashtag facts on the Tech Tuesday Live Eugene Show. Eugene Tech Technical Facts. Yeah. On the Eugene Tech Live Show. Yeah, so the windows, for some reason, and the windows at the barn light as well, they, um, uh, they block RF or radio frequencies. Or the Wi-Fi's. The Wi-Fi's. And so when I da when I dangled the Wi-Fi extender out the window, I accidentally closed the window behind it, thus not extending anything at all. Yes. Um, so thank you for nice. that. Thank you for getting us going. Uh, this is the September fifth edition of the Tech Tuesday Live Show, and we're going to talk about some jobs. Jobs, jobs, jobs. A jobs, bunch jobs. of jobs posted. Nice. Uh, Two I weeks worth. Uh, not quite two weeks worth. I don't quite know what's going on with the blog right now. I think, you know, school's starting, Summer right? Time. Summer's ending. Summer so, so, uh, so everybody's pretty busy. You probably want to put on your microphone. Oh. <laughs> um, so we're going to we're gonna go through the jobs. Lots of jobs, though. So here we go. So first, Centene is looking for a data analyst second level. 
Partnered IT Solutions is looking for two system administrators. One entry level, one not so entry level. Yeah. Um, Palo Alto Software is looking for a product UX designer. What's UX? User experience. User from experience. What I've heard. That's true. Step Up IT Services is looking for a senior cybersecurity specialist. Nice. Easy to say. University of Oregon is looking for a PBIS user support representative. And Roseburg Forest Products is looking for a data warehouse architect administrator, comma senior. Senior level. Senior level. Lunar Logic is looking for a for two web app developers, a senior web app developer and a junior web app developer. And we have a bonus job. Yeah, the bonus this job. Week. Normally, normally when we do bonus jobs, we want to re redirect you to the to the oh. uh, to the site so that you can go to the site and give it some views and find out for yourself how amazing it is. But I think this one is worth us reading it out because it's from CBT Nuggets, my alma mater. Yeah. Or my current employer. And also the alma mater and slash current employer of Michael Hess, who writes up these That's right. blog posts That's every right. Monday. We're, big, we're, we're all about the CBT, and they are all about looking for a digital marketing associate. Yeah, so if you're interested, check out uh, before going, don't just go straight to the, uh, to the uh, CBT Nuggets site and apply that way necessarily. Go to the go to EugeneTechJobs.com because Michael right. Hess Michael Hess is looking for someone to work with him because that's what Michael Hess does. There you go. Yeah, so, awesome. so Michael's looking for someone to work with him. That'll be pretty sweet. So that's the jobs. Maybe you can even work for Michael. Ooh, I, I don't know how it works. Yeah. So those are the jobs. Um, so we're gonna go on to the switchboard picks. We got some good switchboard picks. Uh, this. So this. Oh, one I saw is this these. one. This one's really cool. Uh, Camila is looking for a uh, person to help make some custom time card software. That's right. Let's see here, there's the office manager of a small construction company looking for someone local who can create a custom time card system, something with a SQL database backend that can be accessed through the web. Mm -hmm. um, you know, fairly basic stuff, right? A lot of thought. A lot of thought has been put into it, so you wouldn't be starting from scratch. There'd probably be some kind of framework for you to go off of. Yep. If you're interested, Check it out on the switchboard. There is an email that you can email her back at to uh, to get in. Apparently, there's it, always already been some bites on this. Yeah, so if you're you, interested, yeah. get on it. Get on it because uh, I remember I shared it out whenever it came through, and uh, there's immediately a b activity on Facebook. People were mentioning other people and stuff's yeah. going on. So, uh, so, so there's, make it happen. There's definitely interest in this. So if you're interested in doing this, then definitely go to the switchboard. Check it out. Email, yeah. email Camilla, get it, get it done. Also coming up, uh, SPDC stuff. Always love the SPDC, the Small Business Development Center here, on the third floor of the Blountown Lane campus. So let's see here. Laura McLean posted this one onto the switchboard. She says, "Hello." After 18 years as an entrepreneur, she's excited to be helping others launch and grow their businesses through classes at Lane Small Business Development Center. So these are specific classes. So. Uh, there's four classes listed here. There's a confidence building for women entrepreneurs class, a branding 101 class, 10 steps to launching a successful website class, and a three-part series on creating and marketing your digital product class. So the classes from the SBDC, I should mention, are not free necessarily. Unless not free. Not free. They're pretty inexpensive though as far as classes go. I think something like 50 bucks or something like that. Like yeah, it's, it's, really, totally, totally reasonable. It, it's totally reasonable. So check it out. There's uh, on the switchboard. There's a Google Doc that you can go to to RSVP and register. Um, there's also an email. You can email Laura if you have any questions. Um, so yeah, it's just a pretty good time. Do it. Learn some stuff. Make your business does awesome. It, does it say when they start? Uh, let's see here. It doesn't. Coming up. You'll have to. You'll you have had to one job. Out. What? When? Where? Yeah. You know what? We know where. We need to find out when. Yeah. So I'll it's ask. It's probably, it. probably on that link. I bet I bet it's fair. all on the register link. Yeah. If only I could click it. Yeah, we can't. We could try, but it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't work. I'll click it. Yeah. Mark's gonna work on that while we move on. Well, I move on anyway to the events that are coming up for the upcoming week. Wednesday. So it's oh, the first, is it first Wednesday. It's first Wednesday. So oh, geez. everything's happening first Wednesday. Of course, the game started coffee meetup. Well, that happens every Wednesday. So. Yeah. So every Wednesday, nine o'clock, eight nine a.m. here, right here at the Martin Life. 
Um, also, open mentor hours, 40 Live Eugene at 9 a.m. as well. We got a little bit of competition in there, but if you're if you need business <laughs> yeah, mentorship or something you. like that, the open mentor hours of Forty Lab is actually fantastic. So definitely recommend going to that if that's something you're looking for. It's nine a.m. Forty Lab. Thank you, Vader. At uh, three p.m. Choose a Ooh. class. Okay, I got the info. So these are, okay, we're gonna we're gonna hold here. We're gonna go back to financial and accounting. <laughs> five p.m. Wednesday, August. 30th, September 7th, November 9th, ba ba ba. Now we know why stuff, it didn't have a stuff, date on stuff. the SBDC stuff because it's like the whole quarter coming up all the way until November. Yeah. So it looks like you can totally pick your poison. There's like so many different things to choose classes from upon here. Classes upon classes. It's like, this classes is like, for days. This is like the whole course schedule for Literally days. the quarter or something. So yeah. go check it out. Lots of uh, check it out. opportunities there. It's so cool. So yeah, so continuing on with Wednesday. Wednesday. On Wednesday. Uh, there's the open mentor hours, of course. There's the co-working and mentoring. They're, uh, the Redefining Women in Tech group is putting on a co-working and mentoring event at 3 p.m. at Rain Eugene. So this is like kind of like just a like a co-working sort of event. Bring sort of what you're working on, or bring a yeah. bring a helpful mind, right? And just. Network with people, work on some stuff, just have a couple of hours. To I just think that, is this the chill. first one they've done? Or? I believe so. I believe this is the first of this type of event. I've heard about it coming done, up, but, but I think this is the first so, one. So it's kind of just seems like a bit more of a chill kind of work on some stuff. I'll probably be there because I'll be working all day tomorrow on some stuff. So I'll probably go over there, check it out. Um, and then, of course, 5 30 p.m. will be Women in Tech Wednesdays. So the Redefining Women in Tech. Uh, co-working event was going to roll right into Women in Tech Wednesdays. Nice. Um, Women in Tech Wednesdays is this uh, this month. It's going to be at the Noisette Pastry Kitchen, which is basically it's right across the street from Davis. Going oh, is it? Way. Yeah. The other way. Yeah. That um, eat just just west of the Davis. Yes, just west of the Davis. Yeah. Um, and that will be Women in Tech Wednesdays at 5:30 p.m. Then at 6.30 p.m. Uh, is up in Corvallis. They're having, Code Corvallis is having their September Unconference nice. at Laughing Planet Cafe. So, of course, they're doing cool this stuff. This is a monthly thing. It's a monthly thing. Yeah. And then, of course, uh, 7 p.m. at the Davis or maybe somewhere else. We'll, we'll see. Um, <laughs> first Wednesday Game Dev Dinner is First going Wednesday on. Game Dev Dinner. Absolutely. Anything so. special going on? Um, you might know. I'm trying to think, see if there's anything, I'm trying to think of my brain, anything special. So there's probably going to be some talk about uh, distributing some projects, things like, you know, how, how we're going to... Distributing or distributing? Distributing some projects, figuring yeah. out how we can continue to move forward with things like any game con and things like that will oh. probably be a topic. Yeah, for yeah, the night, yeah. Um, and various other projects that are kind of happening here in Eugene. Um, I know a major player here is planning on on moving out, so so they have to sort of distribute kind yeah, of yeah, what but they're working yeah, but, uh, on. Yeah, a treasonous so. uh, uh, turncoat in the uh, organization. Not a treasonous turncoat necessarily, <laughs> but but a, fr but a, a freelance a, a, privateer. A well-respected individual moving on to greater things. So okay. That's, and that's, okay. That's what I will say. But it's uh, it's um, totally hush hush. Yeah. So, <laughs> absolutely. But if you go to the if you go to that event, there might be some talk on that. Maybe. So um, yeah, if you want to get stuff. involved with the game community, is is uh, now is a good time. Yeah. 7 p.m. at maybe the Davis. Check out the Facebook group for more information. That updates yeah. a lot more than the meetup group does, which is where I get my information. So I think that we might be doing stuff. Honestly, I don't know. Maybe beer garden. Maybe I'll look it up. Maybe maybe Mark will look it up and help us help us with that. So no, that is Wednesday. So that's what's going on. And if Wednesday. I'm looking for it, I could go go I G D A. I G D A U G. What what does that stand for? International, Independent? No. International Game Developers Association. Oh, nice. So we are a member. We're you're we're associated. A, we are associated. We we are a we're a little baby group. Been doing little baby group things. <laughs> um, so let's see here. Yeah, Mark's figuring that out. And while Mark's figuring that out, we're going to move on to Thursday. And thank you, Matt, for joining. It's really awesome to see you on that side what? of the camera. What? They moved it. Second Wednesday, Game Dev Dinner. Oh, that was in August. Oh. We're in September now. 
Um, so yeah, this There's Thursday no Thursday's a lot lighter than the Wednesday is. So Thursday is just game dev happy hour, of course, 5.30 p.m. at the Starlight. Also, the Willamette Valley Software Engineers, now this is a cool one, Willamette Valley Software Engineers are putting on an intro to .NET and ASP.NET Core 2.0. Core 2.0. At the MAPS Credit Union You're at You're singing my song. I could, I, I could give that presentation, yeah. actually. That will be at the MAPS Credit Union in Salem. Oh, and they've got the uh, world-famous Guy Hanselman's going to be Yes. There. That's nice. So that's going to be a pretty cool one. So if you're interested in .NET or ASP.NET, if you're interested in getting in, involved in that stack, then this is probably it's an, it's a good an oddly to start. interesting time to get involved. Really? That's right. There's cool things happening. That's right. So core. The difference between AS, ASP.NET and ASP.NET Core, and why you'd be interested in Core, is because Core runs on all the things. And so you can compile core for Mac, you can compile core for Linux, you can compile core for whatever. And so that's the thing. So um, basically C Sharp's a, a fine language and it's been kind of trapped in the Windows world, except for Unity and stuff like that. But uh, now it's, uh, it's unleashed. And so the, the, the big news with core 2.0 is that the API has parity with the existing all the .NET. Nice. And, and so uh, and there was a core one and it didn't have all the things in it. Oh, yeah. Now it's got all that the things. That was like things. a beta. And now we're that there. was the not quite ready for prime <laughs> time, but it's yeah. coming. Please help us make it better. And yeah. now it's awesome. So Yeah, and Matt, we would love to, uh, to, to get the camera not so foggy, but unfortunately it's nothing to do with the lens. It's just the smoke that is in between <laughs> the camera and us. It's why, that bad. Why is it so foggy? You know, I was talking to Matt today, earlier, oh, yeah. and friends, friends from Eugene Tech and friends from the TAO, friends. were talking about putting on putting on the TAO show that's coming up on the 22nd of September. It's the Tech Tours. Are you sure it's the 22nd, and not the 21st? Maybe it's the 21st. It's Thursday, right? Thursday the 21st. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Thursday the 21st. Thursday the 21st. There's going to be more information about yes. this, but if you went to it last year, it was the Tech Crawl, mm -hmm. and it was like hundreds of people. Yeah, so many people awesome. uh, in Kesey Square that it was probably like a fire hazard. So this year... Mm -hmm. They're blocking off the intersections at Willamette and Broadway. Oh, wow. And there's live music. Wow. And there's vendors. And that's pretty awesome. That's, this is, that's exclusive news. Exclusive news. Exclusive. You should that's get right. a, like a thing, exclusive broadcast like, right across there. We that's should, right. Let's we'll spend an hour on that. Okay. So, yeah. So, uh, good stuff's happening. And, uh, yeah. So, lots of fun things happening all over town. There's going to be great things happening at Kesey Square Absolutely. and the Broadway Commerce Center for sure. Maybe even VR and AR in the Broadway Commerce Center. And there's a link in the show notes. There's a link right there in the comments that was so, just posted by the Technology Association of Oregon in the Southern Willamette Valley. Thank you very much, Matt, for posting that, yeah. undoubtedly. Um, We're his favorite show, you know. Nice. That's good on, to hear. On Facebook on, on Facebook. Tuesdays. On Tuesdays. At five, at six o'clock. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so so we're gonna, we're gonna keep continue moving. Oh, forward sorry, I uh, this, this, yeah, I got, I got we got a little tangent there. there, but that's okay. It's I was okay. so full that's of information. We gotta get you the information. It's just like we don't have a really solid format, right? I don't know. Solid-ish format. So moving on to Friday, we're gonna move on to Friday. Open Hack Night, of course, six p.m. at the Eugene Makerspace every. What is it, Tuesday and Friday? Yeah, Every Tuesday, Tuesday and Friday. Friday. Like, you could go right now. You can go right now. Right now. Right now. You still got, like, 45 minutes. You do stuff. You could say you hi to the Coast Cycle. The Coast Cycle's parked there right now. Oh, nice. Go say hi to the Coast Cycle. Also, uh, happening is, uh, this is a cool one, is a technology is a technology association of Oregon event. Elevate Lane County, a path to good tech jobs. Oh, yeah. Is that that lunchtime UO thing? the Baker Downtown Center at noon. Oh, you Baker Downtown Friday. at noon. So... We got, we got all this stuff. So the greater Eugene business community, especially its tech sector, has a critical shortage of skills workers. That's true. A new local program called Elevate Lane County has emerged to seize this opportunity. Yeah. Jobs require individuals with knowledge, skills, et cetera, et cetera. On September 8th, the City Club ELC. Eugene. Oh. What is ELC? Do you know what ELC is? I don't know what ELC is. Uh, I would call it Elevate Lane County. Elevate Lane County, yes. We'll be sharing the results of the pilot year of the program, which placed both teachers and students mm. at tech companies 
for internships. That's right. It was like a, instead of an internship, it was an externship. Yeah. And so instead of the students going into a business, the teachers went into a business to get their tech skills up. So there'll be bit. speakers from one of the prospective CEOs. There will be a Q&A section. And of course, this program is being presented in collaboration with the Technology Association of Oregon. So that looks like it's going to be a cool one. Friday, yep. September 8th at noon at the UO Baker downtown center. That's going to be pretty yep. sweet. And I think uh, Lane Stem had a lot to do with that too. Probably. I didn't, they, I didn't hear their name in there, but I think they're, yeah. they're a big part of that. Also, wanted to, wanted to throw this out there, Rose City Comic Con. Oh, is it coming up? It's on the 8th. Oh, that's that like this Friday. weekend. That's Friday. September 8th through the 10th will be the Rose City Comic Con. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday? Friday, Saturday, Sunday. No, 8, 9, Friday, 10. Saturday, Sunday. Friday, oh, okay, Saturday, yeah. Sunday. Yeah, so September I've been 8th there. Tenth. Really? Have you not been there? I have not been to the Rose City Comic Con. Comic Con is a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Especially in, if you're in the nerd culture, like they'll have like yeah. super celebrities. Well, I know there. that I do know that uh, Felicia Day is going to be there. Felicia Day is probably going to be there. I know that Weird Al is going to be there. Weird Al is going to be there. Yeah, which is I saw pretty him. awesome. How um, weird is that? Yeah, that's the original. Sweet. The original cosplayer. Yeah. Well, well, Weird Al was on. Was that like the Lane County Fair? Like a few years ago, or something like that, and that was pretty. Weird awesome. Al gets around. Weird Al, get, Weird Al's everywhere. He's great. I yeah. love Weird Al. He's, he's the best. But so, just wanted to throw that out there. Rose City Comic Con coming up this Friday. Yeah. I mean, might as well mention it. Get a um, bus to get, go by train. Go by train. Yeah. Go by train. Go check it out. Sweet. Um, also on Saturday. This Saturday. Right, so this Saturday. Yes. Will be up in Portland, the Pig Squad. We, I like to oh, yeah. say what Pig Squad's doing, which is the Portland Indie Game Squad. It's the equivalent, yeah. right, of the Eugene Area Game Developer kind of situation up in Portland. Yeah. Um, they're doing a Art Code and Rose City Comic Con after party. So they're oh, nice. Like, so like, they have Art Code Nights, right, where it's just kind of like a co-working night where you just go bring your stuff. Much bring like the project. Redefining Women in Tech Prod event, right? Right. Um, but I guess they're combining it with the... Uh, a, uh, Rose City Comic Con after party, so nice. it'll start seven. It'll go from seven p.m. to ten p.m. at the Wacom Experience Center. The Wacom and Experience Center. What the what the heck is that? It's a uh, fourteen fifty five Northwest Irving Street in Portland, Oregon. All right. Nine seven two one nine. Oh, so, that's new. That's a new one for me. I thought they used to have their thing at the Lucky Lab. Um, I think they like to have things at the Lucky Lab, but I don't know. I'm not really in tune with exactly what's going on in the Pig Squad. I just I just like to let you folks know about what Well, they the got a great name either way. Yes, they do, and their branding is spectacular. Um, so that is Saturday. Nothing really going on on Sunday, of course, unless you count right the, the last day of the, the Comic-Con. Tuesday, a bunch of stuff. Look at that. It's like a full page. Next stuff. next Tuesday, one next week Tuesday, from today. One week from the day, of course. Tech Tuesday Live show at 5.30 p.m. right here at the Barn Light. Of course, yeah. the open hack night, 6 p.m. at the Eugene Makerspace. But we got some really cool events happening, a bunch of cool stuff. So yeah. Startup Florence, Oregon Coast, at 5.30 p.m. is putting on an event titled How to Launch a Startup in Florence. Oh, okay. Yeah, and that uh, this event... Is going to be for all you Florence folks, or people who are interested in going to Florence to learn all about this. Yeah. Get away from the smoke, maybe. Hopefully, it's not still around in a week. <laughs> My goodness. That or maybe you can just terrible. follow. You can follow the smoke to the coast. Yeah, just follow the smoke. Just <laughs> like like a band tour. Just follow it all the way. Um, but uh, the How to Launch a Startup in Florence event is for current entrepreneurs, wannapreneurs, wannapreneurs, want want entrepreneurs, wannapreneurs. People who have a big idea but not sure what to do next. It's for innovators and makers. It's for small business owners. It's for service providers. It's for angel investors. Really, it's for everything. It's for everybody. It's for everybody. It's, it's for got everybody. something so, for everybody. So if you're interested in any any aspect of the startup scene, uh-huh. right? If you're interested in getting involved in any aspect of it, then the, the How to Launch a Startup in Florence event really is going to be spectacular for that. Um, so that's that. Then at... 5.30 p.m. in Albany. So we were in Florence at 5.30. Also, simultaneously in Albany, will be a seminar a startup in on Albany? early market traction for okay. your startup at that free rain, meet- rain venture catalyst and serial operator, Caroline Cummings. Yep. Love you, Caroline. She's great. Caroline Cummings is She'll the best. Be, she's going to Albany. She's going to be in Albany at the Albany Main Library. She's going to talk about startup sales plus marketing tips 
Her presentation will include lessons on market validation, building a brand, and targeting your market. All right. Light food and beverages will be provided. Excellent. So that's pretty cool. Then, of course, Ben Arduino Group, the Ben. So happening also simultaneously in Bend. So we got we got <laughs> so Florence, we got coast. Albany, we got <laughs> Bend, Arduino Space, e- Arduino Group eSpace at eSpace Labs at 6 p.m. So they're doing their monthly yep. Arduino thing, of course. Yeah. And then at 6:30 p.m. So just enough time to see the very beginning of the launch no, startup in Florence and then drive immediately to Eugene. Uh, you, can, you can catch the Eugene Area SQL User Group talk oh, nice. about Eugene SQL Server User Group September 12th event, which will be all up. Is that at the Code Shop space? This will be oh, at, no, it's at Peace, Peace Health. Health Incorporated gotcha. at 6.30 p.m. here in town yeah. in, in Eugene. Nice. Talk, talking all about Hardware 201, selecting and sizing database hardware for OLTP performance. Are you down with the OLTP? Nope. I have no idea what that is. Yeah, online transaction processing. As opposed, you, you sound so excited about that. <laughs> that seems like something that no, oh, the, you're very excited your, about. your databases. You put them basically. There's two flavors, right? Yeah. There, there's the one that's got the the reporting data in it, and the cubes, and the data warehousing, and all that stuff. And it's got it wants to spit out the data fast, but it's kind of slow to load. And then there's the uh, OLTP one, which is like stuff's happening, and so you put it on the edge and all the transactions are happening uh, so OLTP yeah, yeah so I'm down with it so if you like me you don't really know what OLTP is might be an event for you yeah or if you do know what it is it would be even more of an event or not absolutely but so, yeah sounds like a lot of fun absolutely that's and that's the show so thank you all for viewing I'm gonna have a fun time editing this tonight we're uh, <laughs> we will be looking at I think I, I think I ought to mention this we'll be looking at Possibly getting some some audio of the shows by themselves going. We're, yeah, so, we're talking about it. Well, we're talking, we're about, talking that, about it. So we'll see not how like, that yeah, goes. Yeah, it's not that very could serious be a thing. conversations. It could yeah. be a thing. Let us know if you would there, like there that. There hasn't to be a been thing. An, there hasn't been an audio. There hasn't been a podcast since 2014. Yeah, something like something that. like that. And so, so yeah, we'll if you, see if you would like that. To something be a thing, might let be coming. You know in, what else is happening? What else is happening? Uh, code shops. Uh, we got more space now. Nice. So, like, the expansion's gone through. The, the expansion and... is happening tomorrow. Whoa. And so, we're doing that. And then uh, we're, we're going to go through our... We've been communicating with our people who are on the waiting list. And yeah. so, we're going to... How big is your waiting list? How big is it? Yeah. Right now, I don't know, maybe half a dozen. Nice. It's always good to get on the list. Mm-hmm. Just that way you get a message when stuff's happening. Of course. And, uh, you know, we, we'll, we'll expire the list probably every once in a while if people don't respond. But um, anyway, yeah, so that's pretty exciting. So and that, Coach that, expanding. Coach Shop is, is expanding. And, uh, yeah, and we're going to be on the tech tour as well. Tech tour. So, or, yeah, tech tour. Something like that. Yeah. It'll be awesome. It'll be September great. 21st. We'll talk about it more undoubtedly yeah. in the week leading up to the event. Well, awesome. There'll be there'll be less smoke next time. Let's hope. We hope. All right. I'm gonna end the show. You should.